Hey, it wasn't just so this this article is glowing. This play was fantastic. They did a great job with this. In the play, they're making the point that we're treating pedophiles, people convicted of sexual crimes against minors and other people too harshly because nope. we're not considering the emotional distress that they're going through in life and the nope. isolation and everything else. Exactly, Whatever it is, it's right? not enough. Here's the one part of it, too, that just makes it even worse. One of the play's characters is a victim of one of the guys who's living in this basement in a group of people that are living together. And they portray him as this person who misguidedly comes back to face his his you know tormentor, essentially. Somebody who abused him and to try to get some closure. He's like, he's trying to get some kind of closure. And his wife misguidedly says that this is probably a good idea. And he has no compassion for this guy. He paints him as the villain. It really? paints the child uh. who was abused, who is now an adult, that is coming back to try to get some closure as the villain in the story. And all the compassion goes to the guy that raped him. This That's is, what this play does. This is far more prevalent in our society than I think people realize. Yeah. And the fact that there's more people... Certainly in Hollywood. More, oh, absolutely. But it, no, it, it goes on everywhere. There is a problem with sexual abuse of children everywhere. Yeah. And the reality is, is the more people there are, the more this stuff is coming to light. Because somebody who made this play or is behind or is producing it has an agenda. Yep. I firmly believe that because oh, there's too much of this Dave. crap going on. It's right there, oh, of right? Of course, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a conspiracy even though you're watching it. Yes, yeah. exactly.